Hey Vikings, what's up? So 2023 is just about over. We are halfway through December. Christmas is right around the corner and soon we will have 2024. So before we end this year, let's talk about some of the updates we had in Vikings War Clans that really stood out and after I name a few topics, I would love to know in the comment section below your opinion on those topics. Let me know your thoughts on it. Like, did you like them? Did you hate them? Did you love them? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So let's go over some key updates that really stood out for 2023 in Vikings War of Clans. Now, the number one thing that stood out in my mind was the Hall of Glory update. That was simply amazing and we were able to have that extra military knowledge and all that other amazing knowledge that we're able to do in the Hall of Glory and earn those stars. So let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on the Hall of Glory update? Another update that really stood out to me was the newer update that just happened, the Raven Towers. The Raven Towers are a part of the stronghold siege you're able to have extra players in there doing the siege but those towers are much harder the marches are much 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 more harder <laughs> so leave a comment in the comment section what are your thoughts on the raven tower update Another thing, obviously, along with that was the multiple reputes. We can now take multiple reputes for each other. Um, if you're willing to pay a price for the second, third, and fourth one, you could have up to four different players for that repute. It just gets really expensive after the second and third, and obviously the fourth one's really crazy priced. So yeah, um, definitely one of the things I like is that repute. Uh, update. However, I don't like paying so much gold. I think they should cut that gold in half. Now, speaking of gold, another update that happened in 2023 was the creating of the new ruins. However, you go through gold like crazy, so not so fun. <laughs> when you're using an amazing amount of gold, then you're just flying through that gold and that runic dust. So yeah, there's. it's definitely uh, uses a lot of gold however you can if you're lucky enough make an amazing ruin that will really help you out in different type of battles so that was another update that i liked as well just didn't really like um wasting so much gold speaking of that another update in 2023 which was recently is the hero and shaman sets we are now able to create those hero and shaman sets where we're able to actually um have what gems and runes we want in our hero and shaman sets and save them for a price however the one thing i don't like about that is how much gold you have to use in order to create those hero sets and continue to switch them out so yeah but other than that it was a good update just didn't like how much gold we're sinking into it now and finally another update that happened in 2023 that really stood out to me is obviously the gear upgrade we can now upgrade our gear to level 15 so that's gonna take a while for a lot of us to do <laughs> Obviously, I'm still working on mine. Mine's at 14 and I'm still trying to get to 15, but that is definitely an update that stood out to me in 2023. And of course, we can't forget the translator. The translator is really awesome. We can now type to each other in the language that we're used to typing and we don't have to run off to Google and try to take a screenshot and try to translate it anymore. We could just open it up and use that little... Um, translation i never got this before this action cannot be formed there's a cooldown between this translation okay there we go but yeah so um this really awesome that we can actually translate now i absolutely love that part as well let me know in the comment section your thoughts on that and finally, one last update that's probably still to come before this year ends will be Battle Pass. Alright Vikings, so that's all the updates that really stood out to me. I know there were other smaller things that happened with those updates, but those were the main ones that stood out. So leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on all those different updates and your opinions. I'm looking forward to reading them. Thank you so much for being with me. This year has been amazing. And 
and I'm looking forward to 2024. Alright Vikings, I'll talk to you next time, but until then, stay safe out there.